Hi, it's David Busher from Busher Racing. What we've got here is a small test device that I built for testing the ethanol content when we transfer it from drums and tanks into vehicles. We've had a discrepancy in some of the fuel we've been running lately where the ethanol content has been coming up much lower than it should be, like E98 testing, E68, and we think it's water contamination. And since there's no information on the web about what happens when water gets into ethanol, and what it'll do to the ethanol content analyzers, I figured I'd make something myself. I'm going to run the first test right now. This is 93 octane fuel that we just got from the local shell station. The uh, ECA will show ethanol first, and by a flip of the switch, it'll show the temperature of the fuel. When I'm done with this, I'm going to use it at home because I make ethanol at home, and this will save me, hopefully, from having to use a hydrometer. In this video, I'm also going to test ethanol with a hydrometer to to put some readings into that. So here's a test. Right now we have E11, that's straight from the shell. The fuel is 81 degrees right now. Now we're gonna go on to some pure E98. Okay, now we're in a drum of what should be E98. <laughs> So we're about E94, that's better than I had actually expected. Temperature in this drum is 73 degrees. E93. Alright, All right. this is crazy. What we have now is a five gallon bucket of water from the faucet at our shop. We're going to run it through this ethanol content analyzer, and what I just saw blow my, blew my mind. This is reading E100. It is straight water. Temperature on this water that came out of the hose, which is hooked to our hot water side of our hot water heater, is 109 degrees. Again, we have E100. This this bucket is 100% absolute tap water there's nothing else in it okay we just wanted to see what would happen if we did this this is k1 kerosene with a dye in it it's used for home heating and the ethanol content sensor is saying it's e2 i don't know what that's all about but i thought i'd throw it in this video this is a 55 gallon drum of ethanol that i have produced i have a small ethanol producer's permit i actually have a still at my home which is where i'm at this drum is full of ethanol that I've double distilled. This is a hydrometer, and this is a temperature gauge here. Right now it says it's 73 degrees. The ethanol is measuring 90% on the hydrometer. Correcting it for temperature by a chart that I have, it comes out at 89.3% corrected for temperature. I know this is good, pure ethanol. The other 10% that is in it is water. It has to be dried through a molecular sieve to get the rest of it out, I have not done that. So if we use the flex fuel sensor to measure this pure ethanol that has no denaturant in it, so it does not have gasoline or anything else in it to make it poison, so you could drink this like moonshine, which is basically what it is, the ethanol content sensor is going to tell me that the ethanol content in this is zero. And to verify that my thermometer is correct, it's 73 degrees, which so is my little portable thermometer here. So I talked to Zetronics today. They explained to me that the ethanol content sensor does not measure ethanol. It actually measures gasoline. So that's why these, temp these uh, tests are failing, in my opinion. If there was gasoline in this, 10%, then this would be reading E90, because it would be picking up the 10% gasoline. So for my testing, what I wanted to find out was if there was water in the ethanol that we had at the shop that we bought that was E100, this sensor is useless for that because it actually measures gasoline content and not ethanol content. So to measure E100, you have to have ethanol, I'm sorry, you have to have gasoline as the denaturant in it to figure out what the ethanol content is. 
So I hope somebody else learned something from this other than myself. Thanks for watching.